Right guys, in this video I just uh, decided to um, book a flight uh, over the Great Barrier Reef before I actually dive the Great Barrier Reef, which was a video coming up shortly. Um, this is a 40 minute flight. Uh, you can book online, I'll put the link in the description. Um, you get picked up from your hotel or any location and take you to this, uh, to the actual plane and airport itself. Uh, quick safety brief, you board the plane, you get a guaranteed uh, window seat because I think maximum of eight people sit on this plane. I was lucky enough to actually sit in front next to the pilot and had a fantastic bird's eye view. Uh, today was really clear, it was perfect weather conditions, it was nice and warm, no wind, um, almost cloudless sky. So we're taking, from, taking off from Cairns International Airport, where you don't actually take off from the main runway, as it looks like a, a separate runway for these um, types of airplanes. So I said a 40 minute flight, going off of various um, reefs, um, the reef itself is about 240 miles, so we've just got a bit of a snippet of the actual reef itself. The video doesn't do any justice, uh, the, you have to see this for your own eyes, it's absolutely stunning. Recommend this to, uh, for everyone to give this a shot if you're in, in the area. So the first stop, um, we're going to head towards uh, the Green Island. Just to let you know, um, everyone gets issued um, with a set of headphones so you can listen to the commentary of the actual pilot. Well, Green Island's a great um, first visit. You can get boats chartered from uh, Cairns and this is a place you actually got resorts so you can actually stay over a few nights over this island. Now here you arrive by boat and you can just do some snorkeling, depends who, what type of boat or charter you um, book with, you get issued uh, snorkeling gear and um, sting suits as they call them, uh, depends on the seasons of jellyfish. Uh, amongst that island there's a uh, swimming pool, bars and restaurants and there's even a 105 year old um, uh, crocodile. Um, it's not loose, it's actually um, contained so you can actually go and visit him so you're perfectly safe. And they've got lovely beaches that you oil, you can just walk around the whole island and just take the views in. Flying over the Barrier Reef just gives you an impression of the uh, full size of this um, reef. I've said before, this is only a small section what we actually flew over. As you fly over, you just see all these amazing colours. And if you have a keen eye, you can actually spot marine life. I spotted a shark and a pod of dolphins. Arlington Reef is one of the major coral reefs of the Great Barrier Reef. Um, it took a few minutes to fly over this reef and we sort of done, um, just flew around it once or twice to get the full size of this reef.
Mass Reef. Um, as we approached this, we had to keep our distance. We couldn't fly any closer to us because this is a, a national park for seabirds. Now this island, you see a little clip when we actually enter the island when we've done snorkeling itself. It's actually covered in seabirds and there was a few chicks there. And this is a breeding ground and also a resting area for these birds as they've traveled thousands of miles. You can get here if you chartered other boats where you can uh, go snorkeling. Well, that's us heading back to uh, Cannes Airport. Uh, you can see um, in the distance, that's Cannes City. Now, if you ever get an opportunity, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, definitely worth the money. Um, once we landed, we still had to uh, pinch ourselves um, because couldn't believe what we just experienced. Um, so we're coming into land. Um, so in the next few days, I'll be actually diving the Great Barrier Reef. I'm really looking forward to that. So keep your eye out for that uh, video coming soon. And if you want to see that and you haven't subscribed, uh, please do subscribe. It will help this channel. Okay, as I said, this is us coming into land. And what happens once you've landed, we get a debrief. He takes lots of photos of you against his uh, airplane. And then he drops you back off to the hotel. So an overall, a great, fantastic day.